Hey guys, big news hot off the presses, the 2020 Jeep Gladiator, uh, there's a leak, images and specs. Images and specs is right, Andre. Our friends over at jeepgladiatorform.com yeah. allegedly grabbed some photos and information about this new truck from the FCA media site yep. before FCA took it down, and this is the information we have about the new Jeep Wrangler pickup truck, which is supposedly going to be called the Gladiator. Yeah, and I actually reached out to Jeep. I already sent them a message asking them, uh, um, you know, can you confirm this? And I'm still waiting for their response. Uh, so this is according to the forum, right? Yeah. According to what they found. All this information, and they took a screenshot of the information that was posted. So this is where we're getting this information from. Yes. Now it is worth noting that this truck is officially going to be debuted at the Los Angeles Auto Show. And we're going to be there, and we're going to bring you all the official stuff, the debut, all the interviews, all the details. I don't know if pricing is going to be announced quite yet, but we, we don't have pricing, but we have a lot of other stuff right here. This is what we know from the leak. So let's talk about the basic specs. So four-door, right, Andre? Yep. And then a five-foot bed. Right. They say steel bed in their specifications. Um, little document here. And obviously it's a four by four. Right. <laughs> so that's Jeep is all about off-road capability. We know that. But they also announced towing and payload numbers because I was always wondering about that. Is it going to be still a capable truck? Um, so this leaked information has those numbers as well. So what is the towing number? 7,650 pounds according to this information, which is for a four-wheel drive mid-size truck, actually best in class. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, 7,650 pounds is huge. For example, a Chevy Colorado diesel 4x4 four four is rated at 7,600 pounds, so 50 pounds less. So Jeep really went all out for this number uh, for maximum towing. Now Jeep also says best in class payload um, for four wheel drive at 1600. Right, but but I just looked it up and Ford Ranger has slightly higher numbers. Okay. So as far as payload is concerned, 1600 pounds is a really good number, but I don't believe it's the best in class. So in terms of what we can observe from these photos, it obviously looks a lot like its cousin, the Jeep Wrangler JL. Absolutely. Right, and it appears that Pretty much from the bulkhead forward, it's straight Jeep Wrangler JL. The headlights are very similar, the way that the grille is incorporated into the front end is very similar. It looks like, if you didn't know any better, a Jeep Wrangler pickup truck. Now, it was reported the other day, through another leak, that Jeep is going to call this truck the Gladiator, mm -hmm. not as the Scrambler, as pretty much all of us initially thought. And this confirms it. Uh, at the very top of this little image, it also says Gladiator. So it looks like it's going that way. But it's not Jeep Wrangler Gladiator, right? It's no. It's the all-new 2020 Jeep Gladiator is the way it's described. Correct. It's going to be unveiled in Los Angeles at the end of November, and it will go on sale reportedly uh, like April, May time frame, but we'll have to wait and see. Now let's talk about what we know about the powertrains. Yes. So this um, leaked document also describes two powertrains, initially a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 with ESS. Yes. And then later on there's going to be a... Um, a diesel, a three liter eco diesel engine with an eight speed automatic transmission. And they say here in this document in 2020. Wow. So not ne next year, the year after. They don't have any horsepower torque figures here in this document, but I'm betting the V6 is similar to the JL, which is 285 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque, which is, uh, you know, it's not class leading. No. You know, um, some other trucks, like for example, the new Ranger has more torque because it's turbocharged and some other engines like the V6 from Chevrolet have more horsepower. So we'll have to wait and see exactly where they put that engine. And we'll have to wait and find out more information on the diesel as well because yes. we don't know horsepower, torque, MPG. Yeah, so the Rubicon is reportedly still going to have solid axles, Dana 44s. Um, it's still going to have the true lock front and rear locking differential with what Jeep describes as a class exclusive electronic sway bar disconnect. Yes. Um, and then it's expected to have 33 inch tall tires. Now this is a little bit interesting. Just based on these photos here, it looks like they're using a different tire than what's on the standard Rubicon. So a standard Rubicon will have a BF Goodrich KO2 yes. all-terrain, but it appears that these are Falcons. Yeah, Falcon Wild Peaks. 
And uh, that's interesting. Why would they change the tire? We're not quite sure. These images show a Falcon tire. It may have to do with payload and towing numbers right. that they were going for. Maybe the other tire wasn't quite working for them. Um, I don't know the answer. We'll ask them in uh, Los Angeles when we see them, obviously when we see this truck. Yeah, sure. Um, in terms of its construction too, it appears that this truck is going to have aluminum swing metal. So hood, doors, tailgate, aluminum. Yeah which is actually very similar to what Chevy's doing with the new Silverado. Right, and the new Ram truck also has a hood and a tailgate that's aluminum, so it's kind of a similar strategy there. Uh, this truck is also shown to have a sliding rear glass, Yeah. so the little window in the back, so it's like a real pickup truck, but also several top options. Yeah, so what's cool is, um, if this information is correct, this new Gladiator is going to be offered as a convertible, right, with several top configurations, yes. as you mentioned, a premium soft top, and then two variations on a hard top. But it looks like it's still gonna retain the ability to pull the top off completely and go convertible with a folding windshield. Yeah, that, that's also available. And we've seen the folding windshield on the JL and they made it easier on the JL. So probably the same mechanism is available here as well. Yep. This image also shows a tunnel cover, I believe. So there'll be plenty of accessories, right? On the inside, this document says uh, two infotainment options, seven inch, or an 8.4 inch infotainment screen. Which is similar to JL. Uh, yeah, touch screens, uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are available um, according to this. Um, what else is there? Well, if you just look at these photos, we've observed some interesting things that are worth talking about. Um, first off, it appears that the spare tire is gonna be mounted underneath. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look like there's gonna be a spare tire hanging off the back off a tailgate like we see in the JL Wrangler. Right. Um, it also looks quite long. Yes. And it appears that there's going to be multiple trims, including maybe a Rubicon. And then the silver one appears to be more like a Sahara, but we're not sure if it's going to be called a Sahara. Right. There's a little badge on, in one of these images on the silver uh, version of the Gladiator that we don't know. It may say Eco Diesel or Overland. So there's some, some rumors going around that a Jeep will introduce several different trims yep. of the Gladiator. We, we just don't know quite yet officially. Um, also, I, I don't quite see an exhaust pipe. I think it's kind of tucked under uh, the rear of the truck, which is, I think is a good thing because, yep. you know, otherwise it will be squished when going off-road. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that would be really cool if they did some sort of recessed exhaust system. Now, some other things that are a little bit odd is if you look at this door cut angle, especially in the rear door, yeah. it doesn't kind of extend all the way toward where the cab meets the bed. It looks like it cuts off pretty right. early, which is how it would look on a Jeep Wrangler JL, right. on Unlimited. Um, and the other thing you notice here is the soft top is very vertical in its direction change from um, rear window to top. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see how they actually did it, right? Because on the uh, JL, there's more of an angle, right? There, right. right? And also, uh, I think they're reusing basically a lot of the stampings, you know, the doors. <laughs> yeah, the doors right? could be similar, yeah. <laughs> right, so, so that makes sense. The other thing you notice is it still has um, recovery points, tow hooks, in the front and the back. So that doesn't appear like it's going to change. Mm -hmm. The ones in this picture, of course, have the tow hitch. We talked about the towing numbers. Yes. Um, but overall, if, if you like the design of the new Wrangler J JL, you're probably going to like the design of um, this new truck, if these are in fact the official images. Right. Because it's very similar, even the way the rear tail lights are incorporated looks to be pretty similar. Other things that this document discusses are availabilities on the Rubicon of a front off-road camera. Yeah, um, so that's really useful. I, mean, I think technology is going to be a big part of this. Yeah, they say um, in this document over what? 80 safety features. Right, so you're talking about like blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, probably lane keep assist or lane keep warning systems. So a lot of the similar features as the JL will be available here. We just don't have the full official picture here, right? Right. Um, this is kind of a leaked, this is a leaked document. Um, the other thing uh, I was going to say, we don't quite know the exact wheelbase length. Right. We know it's quite a bit longer well, than the JL. I mean, it looks longer because you can see um, if this was a typical JL, the rear wheel would be right by, along by the, the back door. The, the, by the back door, right. Um, other things you notice, both of these trucks in this picture have body matched fender flare colors, right? So um, maybe they'll they'll have a black option, maybe they'll they'll do color matching as, a, as an option as well. What do we think of pricing? Because pricing is not discussed at all, 
but I think it's going to be quite expensive. It is, and JL Rubicon is already getting quite expensive. Yeah, it's, it's uh, sort of like touching 60 fully loaded. Right, so I, I'm thinking that a pickup truck will carry a little bit of a premium over the JL. Mm -hmm. We don't know exactly, like the 2 liter is not mentioned here, the 2 liter turbo. Not, not at all. Is not mentioned in this leak, so that engine adds cost, mm -hmm. so maybe you know they decided not to use that engine for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, the cost is going to be an issue, but I think you know you're getting a lot for your money if it tows this much and if it carries this much weight, and um, if it off-roads. Now they did mention 30 inches of water fording, which is good. If the wheelbase is in fact longer, I would expect a reduction in breakover angle. Absolutely. Um, and. As far as approach angle, it looks very similar because of the same front end design as the, the Wrangler, but, but the rear end could suffer in terms of departure angle because it looks like it's got a longer overhang. Yeah, absolutely. I would agree. We don't have the exact specs yet. Right. But this truck would go head to head with vehicles like the ZR2 by Chevy, the Colorado, and even the Bison. Yeah, absolutely, because twin lo front and rear lockers, right? Right. The ZR2 offers this, and now this is a competitor. But as Definitely. far as I know, you can't get a folding windshield on a ZR2. No, and you can't get a soft top. No, no, those are those are those options are not available right. yet. Now I'll be curious to see what they end up doing with um, the suspension. So it appears that it's going to ride on solid axles. But are they going to include some sort of interesting shock system? Maybe Bilstein's or maybe Fox? Right. Because if you look at competitors like the ZR2 that use that Multimatic, right. um, obviously maybe that truck is geared more for high speed. This still appears to be more of a rock crawler. But you have to remember the suspension has to carry a heavier load so it will be stiffer. You know, be because the Wrangler JL does not tow quite as much, about 3,500 pounds yeah. uh, on the JL. So the suspension will be stiffer so the shock question is a good one. Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, we should park on that for a second too. If a Wrangler JL can tow 3,500, and this is reportedly going to tow 7,650, <laughs> yes. right? Clearly, there's going to have to be some changes done to the to the the construction of the vehicle. Right, the suspension and you know springs and shocks, absolutely. Do you think that this Gladiator is going to start maybe cannibalizing sales from other FCA vehicles like the Ram Rebel? I don't think so because I think the Ram Rebel is for a different customer who maybe wants to tow quite a lot more. Um, and this may be more off-road capable because you've got front and rear lockers. It's a little smaller so you can fit on more trails. Right. And the Rebel is just sort of a, you know, it's a half-ton full-size truck. But on price, there might be uh, some overlap on price. One thing we do need to mention, though, is the name, because it's, it's sort of interesting. If, in fact, it is going to be called the Gladiator, that is a name Jeep has used in the past on the 1960s full-size trucks, right. available from like 62 to 71, it was called the Gladiator. But everyone thought it was going to be called the Scrambler, this new um, Jeep truck, because the Scrambler, of course, was a CJ-based truck called the CJ-8 yes. Scrambler. Um, so everyone thought that was going to go in that direction, including JeepGladiatorForum.com, who has had to maybe pivot their name a little bit. Yeah, you, they used to be JeepScramblerForum.com. <laughs> yeah. But what, what do you think about the Gladiator name? I think it just, uh, my tongue can't quite say it fast. Jeep Gladiator. <laughs> I think it's a, uh, <laughs> it's a fine name. Um, in 2003, Five Jeep had a concept truck called the Gladiator. Yeah, yeah, it was quite a few years ago. Which kind of previewed the new JK design back yes, then. Yes. Um, so it, they have used it on a similar looking vehicle in the past. Uh, so I, I, honestly, it probably doesn't matter. How, how would you shorten it, Gladi? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching um, this leaked information. Yes. Uh, we will get back to you on tabletruck.com when um, Jeep responds to our our inquiry about official information. Yeah, in Los Angeles, you'll see everything live and official. Yep, for sure. Uh, so stay tuned to that. As always, go back to tfltruck.com for the latest and greatest in Jeep pickup truck news. Yep, thanks guys.